It's time now for a look latest in local news in the news. We're just 12 days in county from the November 8th general election. Governor Brian Kemp brings his re-election campaign to Jessup Day at 12 noon at the Altamont Steak and Seafood Restaurant. Public invited to come on out and see the governor, hear what he has to say about his re-election campaign. WIFOFM will be on hand bringing his comments on Friday's newscast. Voter turnout continues to be heavy with most of the interest on two key races in the state. Race for governor between Brian Kemp and Stacey Abrams and that race for that U.S. Senate seat between incumbent Democrat Raphael Warnock and his Republican challenger, Herschel Walker, where polls show Walker closing the gap day by day. Here in Wayne County, early voting continues today and Friday with another Saturday of early voting this Saturday. Saturday's time from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Today and tomorrow time from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Early voting taking place at the Hall Richardson Recreation Center located at 644 North 4th Street on the time today, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. On Wednesday, 222 registered voters cast their ballots. That brings the number of early votes in Wayne County to 2,672. Again, locally a race for a District 4 County Commission seat between longtime incumbent James B. Thomas and his challenger Fred Anderson. Mr. Thomas joins us this morning on the World Famous Bitch and Mob Show, while his opponent Fred Anderson will be in studio tomorrow on Friday's show. Once again, the big political story today, Governor Brian Kemp makes a tour stop in Jessup again 12 noon at the Altamont Steak and Seafood Restaurant. Once again, the public invited to come on out and meet the governor, hear what he has to say, and we'll bring his comments tomorrow here on the local news. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. All this month has been Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Today, the pinking of the Jessup City Fountain takes place at 11 a.m. Public invited to attend. Program begins inside the Jessup Train Depot's community room. A representative from the city will welcome the crowd and introduce guest speaker Gwendolyn Lockley. She's a breast cancer survivor. Waymore Hospital's Jill Blizzard will then provide closing comments from the inside portion of the program. Then those attending will move outside to the fountain where a group photo will be taken, followed by a balloon release and the pinking of the fountain. Again, all that today at 11 a.m. at the Fountain in downtown Jessup. Again, the public invited and encouraged to attend. The Altamont River Fall Leaf panel is set for this Saturday. Wayne County Board of Tourism getting ready for the big event this Saturday morning. Begins at 8.30 a.m. at Williamsburg Landing on Williamsburg Landing Road. It will end at Altamont Regional Park in Glen County. Again, the registration for the event is $10. Registration forms and more information may be obtained at the Jessup Train Depot or from the Tourism Board website at waynetourism.com. You can register the morning of the event on Saturday. Paddlers should drop their canoes and kayaks at Williamsburg Landing before 7.30 a.m. to travel to Altamont Regional Park. Shuttle will carry paddlers from the takeout point back to Williamsburg and will leave Altamont Regional Park at 8 a.m. Paddlers are encouraged to use Aiken Access Road to access River Road when coming and going to and from Altamont Regional Park. They state the river is low, so paddlers should be prepared for this. Altamont River Expeditions is the official outfitter for the paddle. They can be reached at 912-294-3604. Once again, this Saturday, they ask that you bring your canoes, kayaks, life jackets, sunscreen, and snacks, and enjoy a beautiful fall morning on the Altamar River. Again, they state you'll be home in time for the kickoff of the Georgia-Florida game. The Wayne County Board of Education met Tuesday. Under personnel, they approved the winter spring community coaches for this year. The coaches are Jimmy Hires, Wayne County High School girls basketball, Russell Hilton, Wayne County High School boys basketball, Ron Twidley, Wayne County High School Wrestling, David Oliver, Wayne County High School Swim Team, Garth Duke Barton, Wayne County High School Track, Oseas Lopez, Wayne County High School Soccer, Boys, Brian Shavaria, Wayne County High School Boys Soccer, Austin Burgess, Martha Puckett Middle School Boys Basketball, Benjamin Dumas, Martha Puckett Middle School Wrestling, Joel Sakura, Martha Puckett Middle School Wrestling, Hunter Robertson, Martha Puckett Middle School Baseball, and Jennifer Thompson, Martha Puckett Middle School Tennis. Wayne County Chamber of Commerce getting ready for their State of Wellness event. It's a membership luncheon, quarterly membership luncheon. That takes place on Tuesday, November 1st from 11 to 1 p.m. It takes place at Coastal Pines Technical College. Tickets are $25 for members, $35 for members for non-members. program will overview the mental health needs that Wayne County faces while also celebrating the advancements in services in the community. Local subject matter experts will highlight resources and services range from public school system to private eye patient providers. Once again, if you're interested... Contact the chamber this week, the number 427-2028. We'll be back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Final notes and news. Reminder, the Altamont Women's Club annual Halloween parade set for Halloween Monday, October 31st at 5 p.m. in downtown Jessup. Parade begins at the corner of Macon and Cherry Street, proceeds down Cherry Street to West Broad Street. We end at the parking lot beside Bonner Chiropractic. 
Prizes will be awarded in the categories of scariest, cutest, and most original. There's also an adult prize and group prize. Everyone receives a ca- bag of candy. In the official hours of trick-or-treating in Wayne County, 6 to 8 p.m., begin the Ultima Women's Annual Halloween Parade, Monday at 5 p.m. in downtown Jessup. The Southeast Georgia Turkey Trot race is set for November the 12th at J.C. Stadium. Registration opens that day at 7 a.m. with the race beginning at 8 a.m. Again, it takes place at J.C. Stadium. Registration costs $25 per person. If payments received by November 3rd, cost is $30 after November 3rd and the day of the race. Group team registration is available for groups of 10 runners at $20 per person. Teams must be prepaid by November 3rd to receive the discount, and a team roster must be mailed with payment to Wayne County High School. Registration form is printed from Wayne County School System's website. Participants can also register at active.com. Proceeds to Wayne County High School's work-based learning program and donated food items will benefit the Good Samaritan Center. It all takes place Saturday, November 12th at J.C. Stadium. And the Wayne County Veterans Day Parade is set for Saturday, November 5th in downtown just at 10 a.m. Again, all entries are welcome. The parade line will take place at 9 a.m. on West Broad Street. If you'd like to participate, for more information, contact Alexis at Banks Real Estate. That number is 912-559-2142. The Veterans Day Parade set for downtown just with Saturday, November the 5th. That's going to do it for the latest in local news. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. Bob Morgan, same have a great day. <laughs> 